Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome to Rome 2 Total War. Not Total War Rome 2, like Creative Assembly wants it to be called, because I'm old school. Um, I This will be a one-off. It is not going to be a series. The reason I am very hesitant to make this into a series, the main reason is that I am very meticulous in battles in Total War games. I spent lots of time planning and pausing and stuff like that, and I tried to kick this habit during Medieval 2 Total War with some success, and it's actually a pretty cool option in this game to try to kick that habit as well. I just need to get used to the controls a little bit more, um, so that's one reason that I don't want to do it. The other reason is that Sega's kind of a bunch of bastards on YouTube about what they, they claim and stuff like that, so we're not going to... Uh, necessarily support them but if there's a huge outcry if everyone's like oh you really should play this as a series i'll consider it uh this is basically a blind playthrough i should say i have played a ton of medieval 2 total war and a bunch of the original rome total war not as much as medieval 2 uh i mean i've played probably played thousands of hours of medieval, medieval 2 total war so i'm pretty much a medieval medieval 2 expert although i haven't played a bunch of the more recent ones i did play shogun but i only have maybe 30 hours of shogun total war shogun 2 total war i should say uh so i i have played about an hour of this already let's get into a, a grand campaign we're gonna just play sort of the standard uh julian faction here uh, each faction has different advantages and disadvantages uh, they all start in the same area though um, there's also, of course, Carthage, which has its own set of factions. They're sort of your primal ri primary rival. There are the Alexander successor states. So you have uh, the Seleucids or the Seleucids. However you, I've never figured out how you pronounce this. Um, they are located around Antioch, uh, sort of northeast of Cyprus, around modern-day Syria and southern Turkey. Uh, we got Egypt, where you guys can guess where that is. Uh, Macedon is in Macedon, which is just north of Greece, or Macedonia, I mean, which is just north of Greece. And we have uh, Bactria, which is east of Parthia, sort of on the far eastern side of the, of the map. I'll show you guys where that is in a little bit. Then you have um, uh, the eastern empires, which are all near... Uh, Turkey and the Black Slat and Caspian Seas. Um, Britain is obvious. Uh, Germans obvious. Gaul is France. Uh, we also have the Balkans again, sort of obvious, and the Greek states, which is obvious. But we're going to be uh, we're going to be here in Rome. I'm going to turn down the um, the effects volume a little bit. Let's see if that if that. Um, Okay, that makes that sound a little better. <laughs> Sorry if that was a little loud, guys. This is the cool effect I was talking about, by the way, battle realism mode, which means that you can't uh, you can't see any things on the mini map. Basically, the radar is gone, uh, and you don't know if your enemy units are going to break anytime soon or if yours are, and you can't move your army around a bunch, and you can't do stuff while paused. We're not going to do that, though, because I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet. We're going to get right into it. Um, so taxes, they've changed uh, a lot of the things. So in, in Rome, the original Rome Total War, just to refer to the tooltip on the screen right now, you set taxes individually per province. Uh, each province you could set a different tax rate. This game taxes are apparently set um, faction-wide. So I'm at war with the Etruscans, Etruscans is what they're going to say. This is kind of cool, though. Capture their territories. This will allow you to consolidate Italia and ensure the safety of Roma. You must wage war if you hope to extend your dominion. Syracuse and Carthage own territory in Magna Graecia, so conflict with them is inevitable if you wish to expand across the Mediterranean. Otherwise, they may prove useful allies against Etruria or the Gaulish tribes to the north. Come what may, Rome will triumph. So I have this initial objective here to completely control two provinces either by direct ownership or through client state and military allies. Um, because apparently I don't currently control two provinces. Even though I'm pretty sure I do. Pretty sure I do can directly control two provinces. I control... Um, oh wait, do I not fully control Magna Gre Oh, I see. So this is also part of Magna Gracia. Minor settlement, provincial capital. Minor settlement, minor settlement. Oh, interesting. 
This is Province Italia, and I don't control completely control that as well. Okay, I got it, game. I got it, what you're trying to say. Um, let's see as what I can possibly build. Center in a region, the settlement contains both trade and military buildings. Settlements are the main consumer of food supplies in a province, so it is vitally important to keep food production buildings upgraded to avoid shortages. Um, so right now I start with 5,000 Gs. I have an army up here of, let's see, a bunch of Velites and Leves, which are all um, javelin throwers and some Hastati. I want to... Uh, let's look at this army this detail for a second. Yeah, it. shut up. Um, so this guy is a born leader. He's got redu reduced corruption. That's good. He has no wife. He's 41 years old already. Uh, oh, we should Im immediately invest. The technology that will give you an advantage over your rivals. To begin, simply select the item you wish to research. There are no buildings required in order to do this, although there are some buildings that require certain technologies. So we're, you shut up again. Um, we're gonna start by uh, investigating them. There. What do we have down here? You have a relatively weak army. So what I want to do here, I think, is recruit one unit of, uh, I think I'm actually going to recruit this Rorari. They're crappy units, um, relatively speaking, but they, um, um, they have the spear, which will give me an anti-cavalry unit, which I don't currently have. The next thing I want to do is consider upgrading, uh... Neapolis here. Let's see what these all do. Oh, no, no, no. Get back there. Can I not upgrade? Oh, there we go. Um, the olive press gives me a bunch more food. Um, plus two growth per turn. I think I am going to get this for 1400 I also think I'm going to expand the city. Do I have enough dudes to expand the city I do I did which allows me to get another field of Mars which I don't really want right now public forum gives me public order 50 wealth from local commerce public order and cultural influence 100 wealth from manufacturing I think I'm going to get this here I do like how this stuff uh, grows. It's pretty darn sweet. All right, and then we got a spy. Spies are I know what spies are. The agents yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what spies are. I want to see what we got and where we got it. All right. You are sitting. I want you to go. Can I not move you? Is it because I'm recruiting a unit? That's probably why. Alright, cool. So we're just gonna chill now, I think. Do I want to a upgrade consists of up to four regions, each one containing a settlement, the hub of activity within it. One of these is always the provincial capital, a major walled settlement. Mm -hmm. Whilst the remainder are minor settlements without, without defensive, defensive walls. Um so I can convert this into a specific type of settlement. It doesn't hasn't been done so yet. Um civil settlement. Reduces food, uh, market set. Well, they all reduce food apparently. Even if I did a farming settlement, provides the garrisons are all the same. Uh, let's um, I'm gonna start with farming. I think it's good to start with a good base of uh. Of um This tab shows all the units or ships available for recruitment in the selected province. Cool, but I don't need I ships right now. The unit or ship uh, to see its Yeah, 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 I got it. This is not me, that's the Etruscan League. Okay, cool. Um But I am going to uh keep this fleet moving. Naval combat, of course, you is something that was introduced in Empire Total War. So that's a thing. Oh, I want to zoom out huge here in a second. Let's do that. 
how that army ran away. That's too bad because I really wanted to fight it. A lot of factions doing their shit. Good work. Rome has need of new units in her. Yeah, yeah, shut up. So troops recruited, war declared. Carthage has declared war on Syracuse. Household expands. Um Okay. And yeah, troops recruited, that's fine. Go away. So you're not anywhere nearby. So I'm just gonna go strike this this town here. Winning a battle isn't just about greater numbers. The balance of you these this army the can reinforce are important factors also. Look at the strength ratio and any reinforcement information before committing yourself. But beware, if you are attacked, it may not be possible to avoid combat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to just launch my assault. Gotta, I need to shut off the tutorial. Is what I need to do. All right, so we should have a pretty, uh, a pretty good army to strike here. Um, the enemy does have a garrison, uh, and they have reinforcements that will come in. Probably, I think the reinforcements will come in. Uh, do I get battle speeches? Are there battle speeches? Um, we're just gonna take the good, good day. Doesn't sound like there's a battle speech. Uh, I can deploy anywhere in this outside this this yellow line here. We're actually gonna take the we're gonna deploy on the high ground because why the fuck will we not? Um, so we're gonna put our spearmen here. Our infantry there. Did I put you at five deep? I did. I want you to be four deep. I don't know if four deep is optimal. It was in previous Total War games. Um, and so again, I'm just sort of going off of my previous experience, which may be wrong. Um, and then we got a lot of skirmishers. Um, these, these are my better skirmishers. Oh crap. Um, this is fine. These skirmishers are actually going to end up going in front of these guys, but, uh, and then these are my crappier skirmishers. And then my general. Um, all right, that's good enough. Take time to explore the battle user interface. Press buttons and... Um. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Where are these reinforcements, by the way? The reinforcements are approaching from that direction. Okay, that's not a problem actually. In fact, that's really not a problem. Uh, we have, yeah, this is definitely not a problem. I'm gonna put my, these guys here. I want you guys to come on down and do your thing. You are on skirmish mode, right? Yeah, you're in skirmish mode. Good. And then this army, I want them to lock. So you can lock formations, which is good, and I want to do that. Units or ships can be set to one of several fixed group formations. And I want them to get on top Select of this hill. From the options presented to you, move your mouse over each one to see what it does. You're not quite ready to shoot yet, apparently. See the nice thing is is I can I believe there's like J or R or something like that. Let's just find out here. If I hit if I hit once you're done. No, R is run. J. So this this should cause them to turn around. Yep. So I can just have I can quickly turn my entire army around, which is really good. Come on, guys. Get get a little bit closer. I'm gonna give put you in a group as well. Wow, these guys, um, are you guys not in range yet? Yeah, you guys need to get into range. How's this army doing here? Are you in skirmish mode? You are in skirmish mode, okay, good. Skirmish mode means that they'll run away at the first sign of, uh, of combat. Or, and by combat I mean at, at the first sign that somebody gets close enough to do something to them. 
So my skirmishers are out here skirmishing, which is exactly what they should be doing. Skirmishers should be um, annoying the enemy. I just told my entire army to turn around. Of course, they're doing it stupidly. Um, let's tell them to stop doing that. I didn't want them to do what they just were told to do. I want them to... I want them to retake their formation. So we're going to engage the reinforcements prior to engaging the uh, the enemy here. Are you guys doing your thing yet? Not yet. Oh, and those guys just disappeared because we can't see them under the cliff face, which is not a good thing. These guys should start their, their their business here in a second. All right, so what I'm gonna do is manually turn around each of these armies. It's fine. Then we're gonna unpause. That's why, see again, that's a lot easier. That, that change that I just did is much better than uh, what the game wanted me to do by default. This is good. We're, we're hitting the these guys. Oh. You guys already did your job. Get over here. Double time. Did I, did I pause and then unpause? Okay, you guys need to stop wavering. So we're going to recover these guys' morale with our uh, general here. Why aren't you inspiring? Our general is under attack. I know he's under attack. It's because I told him to get under attack. Oh, the enemy is advancing on us. This is a problem. Um, all right. I want you guys to run down this hill and attack. I didn't realize they had that many more forces. That was actually well done, AI. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yep, it's fine. I'm keeping my general in the battle because at least in previous games, um, generals were by far the best. Um, some of the best combat soldiers in the game. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Let them tire themselves out. Oh look, um, the enemy skirmishers ran. Yeah, you guys just yeah, let them chase you down. I want to inspire, but it's not... Oh, that's that's not rally. That's inspire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my uh, skirmishes are in a bad spot here. Fight, you dingbats. Yep, this is going perfect. This is exactly what you want your skirmishers doing, actually. Um, you need to... Return to here. All right, so we've crushed the enemy force here. Now what I need to do is get this force reset because I want them to engage over there. Now I want you guys to just stay in these trees. Okay, just get back in these trees and you also get back in these trees. If that's going well. So yeah, we're going to win this battle for sure, guys. Um, oh, my general's pretty badly beat up, actually. Shit, I didn't realize that they were still getting hit by... Um, No, I really don't want you guys to do that. I want you guys to go engage these guys. 
I know I'm having my dudes run around like a bunch of idiots, uh, which is generally a bad idea. And the reason that's generally a bad idea, so they're shattered, they're not coming back, um, is that it, uh, is that it results in, um, I don't even completely forgot what I was trying to say. Uh, oh, uh, I'm exhausting my units by having them run around, uh, which is foolish. You should just go engage these guys. Are you guys not charging? I would have my general um, attack, but... God damn it, that was not what I wanted to do, but whatever. I wish I had some cavalry. This would make these guys way easier. And now my general's too beat up to realistically um, help out here. Oh, look. Pathing AI still stupid. It's good to know that uh, nothing's changed since Medieval 2 Total War. Or, yeah, Medieval 2. Alright, so these guys will break. This battle over here is still raging. As you saw with me, we can chase these guys around indefinitely, and there's no uh, chance that my guys would ever catch them. They're lighter than we are. My guys are very tired. Their guys are fresh. Which is fine. I've driven them off. There's no reason to exhaust ourselves here. Why are you not fully engaged? Come on, you should be crushing the, this army here. These guys are exhausted, they're losing decisively. This should not be take any longer. Okay, you guys have won. Run faster, you're just taking casualties. We don't need people to die for no reason. I will say that um, this game looks really nice. Um... One of the things, they definitely made the game look gorgeous. I mean, it still looks like a Total War game. It's not, you know, um, it's not the, the, it doesn't look like GTA 5 or something like that, but it still looks really good, I think. All right, so we won the battle in a decisive victory. We deployed a thousand guys and lost 268. Apparently we killed 18 of our own dudes. Because they only killed 250, they deployed 870 and lost 729. They killed 10 of their own dudes. Well done. After your first battle, you may count yourself a son of Mars. I can count myself a son of Mars. Are displayed here, along with the options to occupy or loot if you have captured a settlement. So, um, so you can raise it, basically making the province become unusable. Uh, I can. I loot the province, or I can occupy the province. Um, all captives are enslaved. All captives are. We're just going to occupy the settlement. Um, my guy has increased in rank. This guy has, um, which suggests that I can now uh, give him a new ability. And I will give him... He's got a healer, but no wife now, apparently. I can give him uh, one of these three. I'm going to give him the authority one, which should open up the authority line in the future. Anyway, that was that was a good, good start. We can also see what I can do here now. Um, in this province... They were built, they were upgrading, no, this is one I just captured. It's a village which can be upgraded from a village to a, a settlement. So we're going to do that. It gives me a bigger defense force, I believe. Yes, this will give me a, the same defense force. Whatever, we'll upgrade it. Um, that's that. This is where we're going to end the episode, though. So um, that is Rome 2 Total War. You know, you guys got to see me play 
one battle and sort of very briefly on the campaign map. Um, the campaign map is big, by the way. Is there any way to zoom out? Um, strategic overview map, that's what I want. So here's a strategic map. I could zoom in more or less. This sort of gives me the, the overall map. Uh, this is where, by the way, Parthia was that I was talking about earlier. And that's this these things over here. Um, the map is clearly not nearly as detailed as something like Rome, EU Rome or any of the EU or CK2 series games. But um, it doesn't need to be. Uh, but the, this map looks gorgeous, by the way, too. I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing some more of this game, and, and I'm having a good time. Anyway, I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys all next time.